it's your girl little baby Lexi and I'm here with another video now before some of y'all come for me and say ew that's cringy um mind your business I like doing it so if you got a problem with it bark Go! Anywho, like I was gonna say um before we start this video as you guys can tell I barely woke up it's 12 44 like why am i barely waking up right now i have errands to run i need to buy something to wash my lashes and then i need to go to the gym so i think we're gonna go to the gym first and then get the video started you know so i'll be back You are a very, very dirty person. I just want to let you know that. We just got back from the gym. Did I? Sorry. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I was like, I went to the movies. Yes, I did. Anyway. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, so basically, we went to get Jamba Juice and Waba Grill after the gym. Lexi bought me food. I did. She loves me. Then imagine if I got the wrong one and I gave my mom the one that like had nothing but strawberries. <laughs> and I'm over here drinking the one with bananas. Um, excuse me. Oh! You just start seeing me oh, slow. I'm like, I forgot. Like, right here, I love like, bananas. I'm like, this, like, I'll be drinking. I'm like, <gasps> what would you do? I would cry, to be honest. You wouldn't want to know how. You wouldn't know how to. I've never been in that like, situation, bro. Anytime somebody's like, oh, you might have to put. What is it called? An EpiPen. I said, well, you might have to invite somebody else and I'm not sticking that in you. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Okay, well, now I know that she would let me die. I wouldn't let you die. She'd be like, breathe. I can't breathe. breathe. That's all you have to do. Three, three, guys. So we got steak, chicken, veggies, and rice. Protein. We got the same thing. I want spice in mine, though, and I think there's some in there. More? So, some of the sauce. So we're gonna get started. I was gonna do this mukbang by myself, but since I was at the gym with my one and only Felicity, I was like, you know what? Do you wanna come? She's like, sure. Yeah. I don't got nothing else to do with my life, and I was like, damn, that must be Those tough. words did not come out of my mouth at all. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> What's your favorite hobby to do? Uh, hobby? Gym would be a hobby, no? Mm -hmm. I love the gym now, even though I've only been going for like one day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's day two, guys. It's day two. No, no, we're kidding. We've been going for almost like a week, too. Well, I've been sick. Two weeks. So. Oh, I've see. already been for like three weeks. Yeah. Hers maybe. is like two, I think. Yeah, I guess we could see. Mm. Yo, I'm kind of upset that most of these questions are like kind of my relationship, my ex relationship. Come on, guys, do better. Okay, what age do you want to become a mom? Well, I mean, she's already carrying a baby. <laughs> no, what? 25. I'm carrying a set of twins right 25. now. 25. I wish I had some more. Oh. I'm going to be with somebody that has twins running in their family. Really? That's how you want twins? I want twins so bad. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go through that pain twice. My mom was supposed to have twins, so twins kind of run in my family. Um, well, I can't be with you, Lexi. You don't know that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Um, okay, anywho. Girl. I would say until I'm financially stable. Like, full on, like, house. Oh, that's a good answer. Like, stuff like that. But whenever that I'm going to put it happens. in the Lord's hands. How about that? Yes. Whenever it happens, it happens, yes. okay? But don't be thinking I'm over here popping my... Everywhere I go. Because I'm not... What lashes do you use? Um, extensions. <laughs> extensions. Okay, now it's starting to get hot in my car. A little bit. It's the sauce for me. Can you breathe? I'm just gonna. I can't. I couldn't even. <laughs> I can't even breathe. Celebrity crush. Do you have a celebrity crush? Mm. I actually don't really. I don't Leonardo know. DiCaprio. Oh, he is. Fine. I'll forever be in love with that man. Mm. So if you're watching this, just kidding. He is fine, but mine. Johnny Depp. He died. <gasps> Paul Walker? Cameron. Oh, stop. He's cute, but I don't think... He was always my crush ever since I was like a little girl. What are your goals for this year and have you accomplished any? Well, starting... Well, I wanted to go to the gym and I'm, I'm actually doing it. I'm actually really motivated to go. Mm -hmm. So, 
It's not completely accomplished, but it's getting there because I want a better body and it's gonna get there. Well, your goal for going to the gym isn't accomplished, but your goal of going to the gym is mm -hmm. accomplished. accomplished. Yeah. Go to the club. To be financially I'm just gonna... stable. That's a good goal. Yeah, financially stable is one. Mm. I would say. Get a place. I want to get a place. I want to get a place. How many kids do you want? How many kids do you want? I've already asked this, answered this one to you guys like multiple times on my other ones. What two or four? I said about like three, three or four. Three isn't even. That's not fair. Three or four. I'll say four. It, well, that's why I say two okay. or four, like to be even. What if you go to an amusement park and then one's left with no ride True. partner? Come me. on now. Me. <laughs> me. You have a husband. Uh-uh. Well, I said I was gonna have a baby daddy. Like that. I'm gonna have sperm sperm donors. <laughs> I honestly kidding. thought about that because like relationships are one thing you're grateful for. Um one thing I have a couple actually. That's but nice. one thing probably is like Getting in touch with like old friends, so like this one right here, cause yeah, <laughs> cause I'm amazing. Cause I don't even have an explanation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. No, you know I want an explanation. <laughs> and because you're actually like really cool, and I like actually. Okay, you are cool. Shut up. You're making this sound bad. Really I'll cry with okay. you in the club. <laughs> wait. Oh yeah. I was like, wait. No, because like, to be honest, when we kind of like separated and I went my own way, she decided. I did. Schools. I did think about you a lot. Like I was like, damn, I miss Felicity. I'm sure. I did. Mhm. Mm I mean, I didn't miss eventually you. I didn't miss the group as much, mm -hmm. but I did mm -hmm. miss Felicity. I made the group. Yeah, you did. I brought the people together and then it just it just didn't work out though. Leave, we didn't really know. we didn't click. We didn't click like that. You know when you want people to click, it just it don't work out. So you're just like, dang, I gotta hang out with you on my own time. But it's all good. I'm not real. This is the only person to hang out with on my own time. I don't have to know nobody. You know why? Hmm. Cause I'm free like that. Why? I'm like one of your like little sides, huh? Yeah. I knew it. Why? Now that's hurtful. What the no. hell? Do you think your younger self would be proud of you from from where you are right now? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm gonna let you guys in on something. I barely even let her in on and on it, and she was just like, "Whoa." Okay, so when I was in high school. My younger self was getting into stuff that she shouldn't have been getting into, like drugs. Uh, I don't anymore, and I've been sober for like uh, three three years. I've been sober for like three years. Now, smoking weed though, it's not drugs. It's not drugs, but I was sober off of that one for a good while, but I did go back. She would be proud of me still fighting till this day. Like, I still push myself. No. Mine too. Yeah. Because like I would give up so much and I, and I would turn to drugs. I'd just be like, you know what? Life's not good. I'm gonna make it worse. Mm -hmm. But now when life's not good, I do stuff to make it better. So, yeah, she'd be proud. Oh yeah. The only thing I feel like is our younger self wouldn't be proud of the boys that we let into our lives. Can I do guys? Are you single? Yes. Yes, I am. Guys. I mean, I thought we all knew that. <laughs> This has been discussed. <laughs> no, I'm just fine. Mm. I'm single, guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm taken by my dog. Um, he would be very jealous to hear that. How do you get over someone school? who lost feelings for you? <clears throat> you cry about it. Wait, what was the question? How do you get over someone who lost feelings for you? Mm. I don't need to hear that right now. kind of going through though like honestly you just that's why I went to the gym like you just distract yourself she needed a distraction see but it's not even a distraction anymore because like I don't go to the gym thinking about this person true 
now I go to the gym for me and I'm just like happy to be there she knows like I get so happy to be there it's crazy but just to get over it honestly you just gotta go through the motion first you gotta cry cry you gotta think about it think about it if you're gonna cry that's cool cry but don't sit there forever and cry over it because at the end of the day you need to let go of it and be like I'm better than that and I at the end of the day they didn't deserve you yeah but cry until you can't cry no more well, why are you gonna limit yourself? Because then you're gonna constantly feel that pain in you. Let all the pain out. It took me like two weeks to stop crying about it. I mean, that's not that long for some people, but. I don't know, I guess people are just, some people are just like, they're different, people are different, you know? Yeah. Learn. You live, you learn. Yep, you live. There's just learn. lessons you have to learn. And honestly, like heartbreak is not, the it's not the, the worst, world. yeah, it's not the worst thing though because you learn so much from it. You just have to like take time to process it. And if you don't process it, you're just gonna think that you're just gonna be hurt about it. No, you have to process what you learn from that because you are you don't get heartbroken for no reason. Uh, why did you move far away from your brother and family? Actually, I moved back. I'm in Cali now, but yes, I did move out of state uh, for a while. Everybody got to leave at least once. Yeah, you gotta explore, you know, and, and find yourself and figure out what's your next step mm -hmm. or like, is this what you need? You know, I got away for multiple reasons and it was the fact to like find myself and to kind of be like do, is going back gonna help me or is it gonna set me back even more or is it gonna hurt me I was getting away I was running away honestly I was running away from a lot of things when I was here and I left to another state okay so one of the questions that was back there was have you ever kissed a girl <laughs> okay so let me clear this up I don't go that way I don't go that way either. I am strictly dickly. Never heard that one before. My best friend told me that before. <laughs> I didn't understand it until she repeated it again, but. But if I see a fine girl. Now, if I see a fine girl, I'm obviously gonna like look at her because she's really pretty. Now, if she wanted to make out, I probably would. I, I made out with like three girls in my life. I mean, mm -hmm. are you done counting or you got more? Oh, oh, I was just thinking, thinking of them. There's more for sure. <laughs> okay, it's like eight. But I've never done anything more than just kiss mm -hmm. or make out with the girl. Me either. Like I went to a club not that long ago. I think on my birthday. And I kissed a girl. She had like a thing right here that was like, kiss me. And I went up to her and I just kissed her. Okay, what would you do if someone effed you over and still wanted to come back? Don't let them back. I don't want them back. Don't let them back. Mm -mm. Please, if you're talking about yourself and you're asking this for yourself, do not let them back. Because I would never let them back. You already did me, What you do is and boss dirty. up and no, let them back. This guy literally told me straight up, they like to see if you're stupid enough to take them back. That's all it is, and they don't want you back. They just want to see if they can get you back. That's all. They want you wrapped around their finger. Mm -hmm. I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> this is what I do. Across? When I say, no, this is what I do when it's like wrapped yeah, that around. Makes sense, yeah. Wrapped around their finger. How have you been doing after everything? So, most of you guys know I'm going through a lot more than just a breakup. Um, honestly. At this moment right now, I could say that I'm literally fine. Like, I feel okay with myself. I feel at peace. I'm not as stressed out on everything else. So who's the new person? <laughs> How did they know? Okay, honestly, I wasn't ready for this, but my new boyfriend's name, well, he's not my boyfriend yet. Draw, please. He will be. His name is. <laughs> Cute and it makes you cry. There is no one. <laughs> Literally no one. I do not want to talk to nobody right now because I'm Literally not a single on soul. No, I'm not talking to nobody. I, I just rather not. I could go on little dates like I said, have fun, but I go as group. I do groups. Group dates because ain't no way we're going alone. Cause ain't no way you're doing something. You're gonna try something, make a move on me. Ain't no way. Felicity will be right there. Yes, to be like, oh, this man's touching her hand. Watch, 
What you doing? Don't touch her. Back, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up. <laughs> No, for real. But okay, this is the end of the video, guys. I love you all. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. This is Felicity, my friend. My gym buddies. So you will probably see her in more videos with me here and there. And yeah, that's it. If you like this video, like it. Comment down below what you want to see more often. And be nice. <laughs> and be nice. <laughs> and I will be back with another video. Bye.